Welcome to Tech Brothers with Damir. In this video, we are going to learn how to create foreign key constraint with the on the lead cascade in SQL Server. So think about a scenario when uh, you are creating primary key and foreign key relationship uh, and if uh, the data will be deleted uh, from uh, primary key table uh, you want to delete from the foreign key constraint table as well. Uh, so that's where you will create the primary key and foreign key relationship uh, with on delete cascade option. So here uh, we have DBO customer table and uh, customer ID that's integer type and we are creating primary key on this uh, column. Then uh, we are creating a DBO orders table uh, and uh, we have a customer underscore ID column uh, type of integer and we are saying this is foreign key referencing uh, to the DBO customer table uh, right here and uh, using uh, the customer ID that's primary key so this is where we are creating a foreign key constraint on customer underscore ID column in DBO orders table on top of that uh, we are mentioning this uh, or writing this option uh, saying on delete cascade that means if any record will be deleted from DBO customer it will be also deleted from DBO's order if the record does exist in this table now let's insert the data into the two tables DBO customer and we are inserting with ID 1 and ID 2 let's insert it sorry invalid object name let's create the tables first create tables now insert this data in DBO customer. Now let's insert the data into DBO orders table. And we are using ID 1 and ID 2. We should not have any issue because the IDs are already there. So uh, we, we should be able to insert this data successfully. Insert, fine. Let's check the data. Now this looks great. We have a, a customer ID 1 and 2 in DBO customer table. and. Uh, also we have a customer ID 1 and 2 in uh, uh, DBO orders table so this is our foreign key constraint table and this is our primary key constraint table now if I would like to delete uh, customer ID 1 uh, from uh, our primary key table uh, what will happen it will also delete the uh, any related data from the DBO orders table that's our foreign key table so you see uh, this is how we delete the data we said delete from DBO customer this is our primary key table where ID is equal to 1 so customer ID 1 and uh, again as we have on delete cascade it will delete uh, all the data related to the this ID from the foreign key table in our case it is DBO customer so sorry DBO orders so I deleted the data from the primary key table and then uh, the data should be also deleted from the uh, foreign key table so you can see that uh, this is the table DBO customer and the data is uh, one row is deleted but it is also deleted from the foreign key table that was DBO orders as we have on delete cascading we, we can also have on uh, update cascading so in case uh, when you make the update to the primary key table it will be cascaded to the uh, table uh, which is involved in the foreign key relationship uh, so I hope uh, you learn uh, some good stuff from here and uh, thanks very much for your time and I will see you guys in next video